Have you ever sat through construction planning meetings and had no idea what was going on? Maybe a whole lot of complicated terms like critical path or float were used. Or maybe you just find the whole topic of project scheduling overwhelming and confusing. Well, if you've answered yes to any of these questions, then this course is designed just for you. My name's Tim and I'm an engineer with lots of experience on the design and construction of major infrastructure projects. I've been building short courses to teach the fundamental construction management skills to engineers and other construction management professionals. The courses are designed to teach the skills that you'll use on your job every day. And so far, we've had over a thousand students enroll in our course. Each course is loaded with hours of content and practice activities to make sure you're equipped with the skills you need to excel at your job. This short video is an extract of our course on construction project scheduling, where we'll introduce you to what project scheduling is and why it's important. We'll go through and give a definition of project scheduling, talk about its objectives, what scheduling done well on a project looks like, and what scheduling done poorly looks like. If you find this video interesting and useful, check out the link in the below description to our complete Udemy course on construction project scheduling. To build a bridge, a new water treatment plant, or any piece of infrastructure for that matter, will involve completing hundreds of different activities in a specific sequence. All these activities will have different durations, interdependencies, and resource requirements, and any delays in the completion of one activity can have a cascading impact on any other number of activities. On top of this, activities will be affected by external events that you have no control over, such as the weather. Working for a contractor, a client is paying you to complete a job within a speci specified time period potentially meet a series of interim milestones known as separable portions, and completion dates are contractually bound. Any delays in completion of the project will incur liquidated damages and penalties. So with all these complexities, how do we make sure the project gets built on time? Well, we use project schedule management. Project schedule management covers the tools and processes the project team uses to ensure they meet the time objectives of the project. It consists of both the development of the project schedule during the planning phase and monitoring and controlling planned performance against actual performance during the project delivery phase. When completing a construction project, in addition to the obvious requirements that works must be, com must be performed safely and with zero harm, there are three primary outcomes we are striving for. We are aiming to deliver the entire project scope under budget, on time, and to the required quality standard. Project schedule management consists of the tools and processes we use to ensure the project is completed on time. During the planning phase, this covers the identification of all the work to be done, sequencing all the works, estimating durations and collating all this information into a project schedule. The project schedule lists all of the milestones, activities and deliverables with start and finish dates for the entire project. During the delivery phase, we monitor planned performance against actual performance and this allows us to identify and rectify any deviations of the planned performance against actual performance to ensure the project is completed on time. The primary purpose of project schedule management is to help complete the project on time, and there are a couple of other benefits of project scheduling. These include stakeholder engagement. The project schedule is a useful tool for managing stakeholders, including clients and community, and making it simple to communicate when things will be happening to help stakeholders plan and manage project impacts. Contractual, often contractually obliged to maintain an accurate and realistic project schedule. Cost, this allows resource optimization and efficiencies to be identified and works can be scheduled efficiently to prevent delays. And finally, quality, works are not rushed and we can ensure they are completed properly. 
To help you guys understand how important project scheduling is, let's start by painting a picture of what it looks like when project schedule is managed properly on a project. Basically, as simple as this sounds, when scheduling is done well, in the planning phase, an accurate and achievable project schedule is developed. All project team members, subcontractors, suppliers and stakeholders make input to and review the project schedule and are happy with it. During the delivery phase, the project delivery team collect detailed progress information and provide meaningful input to update the project schedule. Actual progress closely matches planned performance. Works follow the logic of the project schedule and where planned performance does not match actual progress, this is identified early and, ma and managed accordingly with an appropriate treatment. All stakeholders are happy with progress and understand what is happening on the project and can accordingly plan and make provisions for this. When project scheduling is done poorly, it's pretty much the exact opposite of what it looks like when it's done well. During the planning phase, an unrealistic project schedule is developed that does not reflect the actual realities of the project. In the worst case, the time required to complete the project is significantly underestimated. The project team, stakeholders and subcontractors do not review or make input into the project schedule. When work start, the project schedule is irrelevant. As it was created so poorly during the planning stage, it's impossible to assess where actual performance matches planned performance. The delivery teams provide no meaningful information to track against and nobody knows what is happening, when and whether the project is on track to be completed within the required time frame. When risks and unforeseen events play out, they are managed poorly and impacts are not well understood. These unforeseen events have a bigger impact than they should because they were not properly understood and managed. The project ends up finishing late and the con contractor incurs significant liquidated damages. So hopefully, after listening to this, you're beginning to understand what project scheduling is and why it's so important. After this section, we're going to move on to a short activity where we want you to start thinking about how the project schedule is actually developed, monitored and controlled.